Hello, my name is Jeremy Perez. I'm a graphic artist and amateur astronomer living in Flagstaff, Arizona in the southwestern U.S. I sketch my observations because it helps me to see better. It helps me understand the amazing things I do see and it allows me to share the wonderful views with others. There are so many great astronomical objects to choose from and different ways to sketch them, I had a difficult time deciding what to demonstrate. I hope you'll like my choice of these two spectacular galaxies, M81 and M82 in Ursa Major, as you can see in this deep sky survey image. Here are some materials you will need to create a sketch of these two galaxies. The clipboard, blank paper or an observing form, pencils, a red observing light, an eraser, a blending stump. This is a stick of rolled paper that's used to blend soft features. Some other useful tools are a pencil sharpener, an eraser shield to make precise deletions, a sanding block to sharpen a blending stump or to sharpen a pencil tip, and a kneaded rubber eraser to softly remove graphite. So that can be a lot to hold onto at the telescope. If you put clips on your pencils and your blending stump, or if you use mechanical pencils with clips, you can attach them to your clipboard or to a carpenter's clip magnet. Your observing light can hang from your neck or you can hold it in your hand, or you can attach clamps to hold it to the clipboard. When sketching, try to be seated so you can concentrate and enjoy the observing session. Warm clothing and fingerless gloves will really help you to stay comfortable. And now, onto the sketch. Try starting with a sketch circle that is 8 to 12 centimeters in diameter. This will represent the field stop of your eyepiece. Begin by sketching the brighter stars that you see. Imagine the face of a clock in the eyepiece and on your sketch paper. Use this to estimate star positions. Once you finish the brighter stars, take a minute to mark the position of the galaxies. To do this, use a soft, dark pencil to scribble a graphite patch somewhere outside the sketch. Then take a blending stump and brush it in this patch to pick up some of the graphite. Use the stars you drew to estimate the position of the galaxy's centers. Then use the blending stump to dab them onto the sketch. Now use a lighter touch with the pencil to add fainter stars. Use the stars you already drew as guides. Imagine shapes such as triangles to help you see where to place these faint stars. If you notice any mistakes, you can use your eraser to delete them. Now it's time to shade the galaxies themselves. Brush your blending stump in the graphite patch and then transfer that to the sketch. Start with M81 by lightly shading its large elliptical shape. Refill your blending stump at the graphite patch and keep adding graphite to the galaxy to show the forms you see at the eyepiece.
A kneaded rubber eraser is a very useful tool to help your shaded areas look just the way you want. You can mold it into any shape you need and then dab it to gradually remove the graphite. You can also lightly apply graphite with your pencil to carefully shape the structure of the galaxy. Keep touching it up with pencil, blending stump, and kneaded rubber eraser until it matches what you see in the eyepiece. Now you can use the same techniques with the thin shape of M82. Your pencil will be a very useful tool for drawing the lumpy structure within the body of this fascinating galaxy. Now that you are finished with both galaxies, compare the sketch to the eyepiece view and use a dark, soft pencil to make the brighter stars even bolder. When you're finished, you can scan your sketch and use an image editing program such as Adobe Photoshop to invert the drawing into a positive image. If you haven't sketched your observations before, I hope you will give it a try the next time you are out under the stars.